Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and um, I've been missing doing my spin paws. I like my spin paws, they're lots of fun. So this, everybody that hasn't been on my channel for a while, is my children's pottery wheel. There'll be a link to that in the description. And I've built it up with some rolled tape and some bits of wood just to lift that um, the place where the record sits up off otherwise it grinds against the edge here um, so now one problem with painting our records black like this is that it fills in the holes and it means I can't line my center point up very well. Ah, no! So, that's going to change. <laughs> How am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to get my little knife and I'm going to cut out. that centerpiece because what I do when I um, when I do my records is I um, put a bit of sellotape across the back of the hole and that just stops the paint from going charging through the hole and it gives us the option to either have it as a just a piece but you can still cut it out and have it as your um, as a clock if you choose to so that's awesome got that far but now I still need to stop the paint from pouring out so I'm going to put a fresh piece of sellotape that's got no paint on it across the back okay so that done we now have sellotape through the back um, but we can see through the back and we can put that down and find our little crosshairs Hopefully, I'll be able to see them for a start before you can drop it down onto there. There they are. And sticky onto the double sided tape. So, uh, can you guys see that? Maybe I need to lift you up a bit. Hold on a second. That's better. I decided that as soon as I could see the entire bottom of the box before, that must be okay. But I forgot how much higher the record gets lifted. Um, so, I have box around because I'm going to start spinning paint. <laughs> and if you know anything about centrifugal force, when you spin liquid, it flies outwards. Um, this box has been used a few times and let me show you I've now turned it around to use the bottom of the box but as you can see it's quite a bit of paint gets flung in this process so all right so what colors am I using today today I am using copper I am using Payne's gray and I am using a green that I made myself. Now, for those of you that know me, I'm not very good at making pretty greens, but I'm really good at making khaki green. <laughs> khaki green is um, a word I invented. Now, I'm just wondering whether to also add in a bit of purple just because I can and because I like purple and yes no yes no yes no yes yes is lighter so we're going to go with a bit of purple as well this one is phthalo blue mixed with red matter that one's got silicon in it that's a bonus um none of these others do the green that I've made let me show it to you if I can Look at this. It's kind of a khaki green. That's okay. 
um, goes with my color scheme. And this is made with deep yellow and cobalt blue. And all my paints today are from Reeves. I've got none of my special magic ones. Um, and I'm also going to put in a little bit of white. Just a little bit. Now, because I have no silicon in those three colours, I'm going to reuse a cup. And in the bottom of my cup, this was my grass green. So it's not going to create too much of an ickiness if some of that colour comes through. But what I am going to do is put four drops of silicon in the bottom. I hear you ask, what's the silicon? Silicon is Durex Play Perfect Glide. The pink and black bottle, not the green bottle. This one is 100% dimethicone. The other one's got aloe vera and all sorts of stuff in it. So, because we've got that green in there, I'm going to start off with our green and put a blob of green in there. And then the one thing I'm going to be avoiding is getting Payne's grey and white together because I don't like that combination. I'm pouring it from quite up high. Purple. Some white. That's going to be enough white. That's all the white I'm putting in. Green. enough paint grey copper scrape out that purple pot if you've had paint sitting around for a while in the same pot mixed up careful when you scrape the sides because down where it was sitting liquid will be fine but as you go up you start to get bits where they've it started to harden and you get clumps in your paint and that's not cool now my next question is do i need a little bit more green uh yes just a fraction that'll do okay now here's the deal why am I using this? Another reason I'm using this cup is because I can squeeze it. It's a plastic cup, but it doesn't crack. It's not a, a cheap plastic cup. It's actually quite a good, thick quality, soft plastic. So I'm going to get this thing going. And I'm actually only going to put it on a, a small spin. Like the This has got two settings. It's got slow... And it's, and it's got fast. Okay. So I'm going to put it on the slow for the pour. And then if I feel I need to crank it up, I will. So what this is going to do is create kind of like a spiral pour. As you can see, I am slightly off centre, but it's okay. Just gonna keep going. And keep going. Pouring it really slowly. And as you can see coming out of the cup, it's kind of already lines coming out of the cup. And we just keep pouring. Most 
crispy green coming out now. It's still a little bit. And that's all our paint. And we've only got a little bit more to go. You can see it's that little bit of black. I'm actually going to turn it off. And I'm going to tilt it. See if it'll tilt. Have we got enough paint on there for it to to move? Picking up the whole unit. Bring it up close for you guys to have a look at. Look at all those circles. How cool is that? It is moving, I swear. <laughs> you may not be able to see it, but it is. Um, I'm just going to dampen up the bits that haven't got any on it. Just so it can start to run more evenly. Just stretching it out. A little bit more this way. Now, can I pop it back down and have a look? And I'm trying. Maybe I should pick it up for you again so you guys can see it. I'm still deciding whether or not I'm trying to get it out of that reflection. I'm trying to decide whether or not to spin it again. But I think if we spin it, we are going to lose this purple on the edge, and I quite like that. Um, and I think I'm going to leave it as it is. So, I'm going to pause for a minute. So, I've taken it, taken the box away. And here she is. So, what's next? What's next on the agenda, Brenda? is get rid of the paint that's on my hands so it doesn't drip anywhere. Yay, ta-da! Clean hands. Not really. I've been painting without clean hands lately, uh, without gloves on lately, and it's been mm, not such a good idea. So this is the next step. The next step is to take the blowtorch and just go over getting any air bubbles because that method of painting it adds air bubbles no end 
So we're just going over to pop any bubbles. And hey, if there's some silicon sitting under there somewhere that wants to come up and visit, definitely don't have a point of view about that. And yep, yeah, I'm seeing some, some showing up. How's it getting any better than that? Hello, silicon. So I am just warming the plate. I am not cooking it. It's not boiling. That's not what the bubbles are. Just warming it through. So there are silicon bubbles, but they are small and they are cute. And they tend to be following seams, the rings. They seem to have been in a particular color and are coming up. So let me get you down and show you what I mean. Okay. We seem to have the right lighting today. This is looking almost the same colour as what I'm seeing it. No artificial lighting today. It's overcast. And see down here what I meant by there's a kind of follows the seams. It's very cool. They're very small, but it's already an extremely busy painting because of how slowly I poured the paint and how slowly it was, well, how fast it was spinning, really. Um, although it wasn't on the fastest spin, it was definitely spinning a lot faster than my hand could have made circles in with the cup. And here's the centerpiece. Look at this. How cool is this? That's just magnificent. It's kind of like a bush. I'm seeing foliage in everything I do at the moment because of my other project. I've been working on that this morning. So the cells are very small, but very cute if I can get them to focus. It's kind of almost like blemishes in the rock, if it was a rock. So there we go, guys. Let's see how it dries. I see you in three, two, one. All right, here it is. It has dried. And, oops, try and keep the light out of it. It's still looking so pretty. Um... You know what? I am super grateful for the way I paint. I always know what I'm going to see when I come back out the next day. So, this is cool. The copper is just enough of a shimmer. The, the green is muted in most parts with just a little bit of brightness and to pop it out. It's just cool. I like it. Who would like that on their wall? Either as a clock or as a painting. 
What would it take for it to find its home with ease and joy and glory and contribute to whoever it is that chooses it? All right, guys. So if you would like to, you can sign up on my website, um, mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up. And um, you know what? If you sign up on there, not only will you get notifications when once these paintings are ready and go up on my shop, you'll be first to know. But also, I, you'll get a guaranteed 24 hours notice email of any go lives. So, um, yeah, sign up on there and you'll definitely have at least 24 hours notice of any go lives. As well as as soon as any products go live on the shop, you'll be the first to know. So, come play mickeyart.co.nz forward slash sign up. And uh, what else is possible? How much fun can we have? And remember, hit that subscribe button if you want to see more. I adore you all. Have fun and see you real soon. Bye-bye.